Hi, I'm Keith Fox, Vice President of the Consumer Division. Welcome to the Apple Macintosh Performa Training Video. This video, along with the accompanying reference materials, is intended to help you better understand the Macintosh Performa family of personal computers. For easier viewing, we've divided the video into three sections. Each section has important selling information designed to contribute to your knowledge of selling Macintosh Performa computers. Section 1 is an introduction to personal computers in general and Macintosh Performa in particular. The second section is important for everyone. It contains information on specific Macintosh advantages and Macintosh Performa products. The final section details how to set up and operate a new Performa. Included are the many new features of the Macintosh Performa system software. If your time is limited, view only those sections most pertinent to your needs and skills. However, a few minutes invested in watching all of this tape and using the reference materials can pay you big dividends in Macintosh Performa sales. Good luck and good selling. Personal computers have revolutionized the way we work and learn. Many of your prospective customers will want a computer for a home office. They need to write letters, work on budgets, maintain lists of names and addresses, and perhaps create graphics or publish newsletters. A personal computer can also be a learning tool for every age, from elementary school through adult education. People looking for a computer for the whole family will want something suitable for researching a school report, helping prepare and file tax returns, tracking investments in a retirement fund, creating a graphic for a school project, maintaining the budget for the PTA, or writing a letter to a relative. The Macintosh Performa is the versatile, complete system for the whole family. To successfully sell the Macintosh Performa, you don't need to use jargon, but it helps to understand the terms your customer may use. We call all the components that make up a complete personal computer a system. There is the CPU, or Central Processing Unit. The monitor is a very high-quality video display. Printers range from inexpensive dot matrix and inkjet to high-quality laser printers. Every Macintosh Performa system now arrives with a modem. The modem enables your computer to connect to a telephone line to send and receive information. Software tells the computer hardware how to behave like a word processor one moment and a spreadsheet the next. Macintosh Performa systems arrive with software loaded and ready to run. Let's take a look to see what's inside the CPU. You should need to open up the computer to make a sale, but it won't hurt to know what's inside. This is the floppy disk drive. Three and a half inch floppy disks like this are used to easily transport information from one computer to another. The Apple floppy drive is called a super drive. The super drive is unique in that it can exchange information with many different computer standards. This is the hard drive. Sealed inside are hard metal disks which spin to magnetically store millions of bytes of information, or megabytes. The larger the hard drive, the more information can be stored. This is a CD-ROM drive, or compact disk read-only memory. On some Performa models, a CD-ROM drive is built in. A CD-ROM looks like a music CD, yet stores up to 650 megabytes of music, text, data, and pictures, even video. More and more people are requesting CD-ROM drives so they can use interactive multimedia software. This large green printed circuit board is called the motherboard. Integrated circuits, or chips, are soldered onto the motherboard. Over here is the RAM, or random access memory. Memory is measured in millions of bytes or megabytes. This is a special type of RAM called video RAM. These chips determine how many colors the system can display. The more video RAM, the more colors, the more lifelike the display of pictures and videos. These chips are the ROM, or read-only memory. ROM stores instructions that software programmers can call upon to quickly accomplish certain tasks. This is the microprocessor, the real brains of the computer. The Macintosh uses the Motorola family of microprocessors. We refer to the microprocessor by name and speed, measured in millions of cycles per second, or megahertz. For example, this is an 040, 25 megahertz. This is called an expansion slot. You can buy additional printed circuit boards to enhance the video, graphics, networking, communications, and power of your system. That's what's built inside your Macintosh Performa. 
In a moment, we'll put it all together. Let's take a closer look at the outside. On the front of the CPU is a slot for inserting floppy disks. Let's look at the connectors, or ports, on the back of the Macintosh. Macintosh ports and cables have a corresponding icon. Every Macintosh comes with a sound in port to connect an optional microphone to add comments, music, or sound effects to your files. Every Macintosh also has a built-in speaker and stereo sound out port to connect stereo headphones or external speakers. The Apple Desktop Bus, or ADB port, connects your Macintosh Performa to input devices like a mouse, keyboard, or trackball. This is the SCSI port, or as most people call it, SCSI port. It connects external hard disks for more storage, CD-ROM players for multimedia, or scanners for inputting flat art. Up to six external devices can be connected in a daisy chain. The modem port makes it easy to connect an external modem. There's also a printer port and the monitor port. The power connector goes here. And finally, here's the on-off switch. Later, we'll show you how to connect your system in more detail. From the moment you turn on your computer, you'll see and hear that the Macintosh operating system is different. This is called the Finder. It is one of the key advantages of the Macintosh operating system. Think of it as the Macintosh desktop. And just like the top of your desk, it helps you find what's on your work area. People refer to it as a graphical user interface because pictures, or icons, let you give the Macintosh commands. Icons are small pictures that represent the places where you store things, as well as the things that you've stored. The icon looks like what it does. For example, when you insert a floppy disk, it shows up on the desktop as a floppy disk. In the past, you would have had to memorize keystrokes for hundreds of complex commands. On the Macintosh, all the commands you need are in menus located in the menu bar at the top of the desktop. You click to see the items under the menu, then pull the mouse down the menu to select. This is what's called a pull-down menu. Release the mouse button to choose an item. This is called a window. Windows are the computer's versions of pieces of paper. Most of the work you do on a Macintosh takes place inside a window, whether it's writing memos, balancing your checkbook, or playing games. The other important component of the Macintosh is the mouse. You use the mouse to control the movement of a pointer on the desktop. To assist computer novices, Apple has added several features for the consumer marketplace. The launcher provides convenient access to your most commonly used materials. Click here for important applications and files, as well as information on training, service, and support options. At Ease is a simplified alternative to the usual Macintosh desktop to enable novices to work without supervision. At Ease also offers many privacy and security features that can be valuable if the Performa is to be used by more than one person. Balloon Help explains the function or significance of icons, menus, commands, and other features on the Macintosh screen. The underlying design philosophy at Apple has always been to make buying, learning, and owning a personal computer as easy as possible. In the next section, you will learn more about why people choose Macintosh and get more details about the specific Performa systems you will be selling. Macintosh has always had the reputation of being easy to learn and easy to use. At Apple, we have a user-centered design philosophy to create products that work the way people want, prefer, and expect them to work. With a Macintosh, you don't have to concentrate on the tool, but the task you want to accomplish. This should be an obvious selling point, but in the personal computer market, people sometimes lose track of this fundamental advantage. If you understand this advantage, you can successfully sell a lot of Macintosh Performa computers. Why Macintosh Performa? First, Apple is uniquely positioned in the microcomputer industry because it directly owns and controls the design of the three key elements of the total system, the hardware, the system software, and the human interface standards, or the way user interacts with the system. Macintosh pioneered the graphical user interface for the personal computer market. 
millions of people quickly discovered that icons and pull-down menus could make them more productive. In recent years, the graphical user interface has become the accepted standard. Apple engineers have a five to eight year head start in discovering how to make a personal computer easy to use. This is obvious from the first moment you use a Macintosh and becomes more apparent over time. For example, icons look the same as the real thing. So a pencil tool on your Macintosh works like a pencil. It's easy to start an application, just click the button. It's easy to learn a new application. It's easy to save a file so you know what it contains. When you put in your floppy disk, it automatically shows up on the desktop. It's easy to organize information. It's easy to discard something you no longer need. It's easy to copy a file or an entire folder. All of these features keep your Macintosh Performa easy to use every time. When working with Macintosh, you'll find every one of the over 5,000 Macintosh applications works in the same consistent manner. When you learn one application, you've learned the basics of all Macintosh applications. Independent survey after survey proves that Macintosh is the leader in ease of use. A JD Power survey ranked Apple number one in customer satisfaction among PC users, two years running. Why is this so? The Macintosh desktop interface is part of a tightly integrated system that Apple designed from the ground up. The Macintosh hardware, system software, the built-in networking software, and desktop interface are all components crafted by Apple into a single system intended to work together from the start. The integrated design of the Macintosh system also means that you have the flexibility to add new capabilities easily and inexpensively. The original Macintosh introduced in 1984 can still use the latest programs. Advances such as sound, video, multimedia, CD-ROMs, networking, photorealistic color, expanded memory, multiple SCSI devices, multiple monitors, all are surprisingly easy to implement on Macintosh and often frustrating even to experts on Windows systems. When customers ask, which system is faster? you should really answer the question, which system will make it easier to get your work done faster? The answer will be Macintosh Performa. Apple engineers have extended the Macintosh operating system to make Performa even easier to use in the home. These extensions include AdEase, Launcher, and Balloon Help. AdEase is a simplified and uncluttered desktop containing just the applications and documents the primary user of the machine wants the guest to be able to access. This is perfect for the parent with a part-time home office who still wants to share the Macintosh Performa with children. Applications and documents are displayed as large one-click buttons, so even novice users will have no trouble getting started. All other applications and documents can only be accessed by the primary user. Individual Macintosh Performa users can use Launcher as an alternative to add ease. Launcher displays frequently used applications and documents. One click on the button, and you can quickly and easily navigate through applications, training materials, or even service and support material. With the document folder on a Macintosh Performa, novice users will not misplace their files. New files are automatically placed in this easy-to-find location. Balloon Help displays situation-specific information to guide you to understanding terms and concepts. As users gain experience, Balloon Help, Add Ease, Document Folder, and Launcher can be selectively turned off. At any time, power users can use keyboard shortcuts, pull-down menus, or combinations to get their work done faster. In this next segment, we'll detail the specific features of Macintosh Performa computers and peripherals. Your store may sell some or all of these products. The first thing you should know is that all of the Macintosh Performa computers come as complete solutions with extras that are standard with every Performa. These include software, fax modem, digital sound, monitor, built-in expansion capability, keyboard and mouse. Apple is committed to delivering better value to customers than ever before. Your customers can count on solid performance from the Performa 460 series. The faster 33 MHz O30 microprocessor will keep up with their needs, and the ability to expand to 36 MB of RAM will see them far into the future. Top performance is available from the Performa 470 series. 
The 25 megahertz 040, the most powerful Motorola processor used in Macintosh computers, powers the Performa 470 at twice the speed of the 460 series. The Macintosh PowerBook 145B Plus Pack is one of the award-winning PowerBooks with added features for retail buyers, which makes it tops in affordable mobile computing. This is the same PowerBook all-in-one design with integrated trackball, internal SuperDrive, internal fax modem, and Apple quality LCD display. Some customers may be looking for a multimedia system. Multimedia is an amazing learning tool as well as an exciting new entertainment technology. To satisfy these customers, sell up to a Macintosh Performa 550. The Performa 550 is a convenient, all-in-one multimedia system as only Apple can deliver. Included are a state-of-the-art double-speed CD-ROM drive as well as CD-ROM software to provide an immediate multimedia experience. Your customers will really appreciate the 32,000 colors and higher resolution of the .26 dot pitch Sony Trinitron monitor. They'll also admire the clarity the enhanced digital sound and integrated stereo speakers bring to music and sound effects. Apple is also offering individually packaged multimedia products like the CD300 and Apple Design powered speakers. These make perfect upgrade options on other systems. Most people will want a printer to complete their system. Affordable and compact, the Style Rider 2 inkjet printer is ideally suited for first-time Macintosh buyers. People who want a home office system will probably want greater speed and flexibility. The Personal Laser Rider 300, a high-quality laser printer with 4 page per minute and 300 DPI output, will suit their needs. Every new Macintosh Performa bundle arrives with a 2400 baud modem that has 9600 fax send capability, America Online Information Network subscription, and an assortment of up to 15 bundled software titles, including the new Clarisworks 2.0, a top-selling integrated application. Systems with CD-ROM drives are bundled with additional CD-ROM software. You may encounter questions from customers wanting clarification on the Macintosh Performa family of products. Many of you may be familiar with the IBM segmentation strategy of PS1 for consumer, ValuePoint and PS2 for large business, and EduQuest for the education environment. Apple targets segments in a similar fashion, with the Performa brand targeted at the consumer, the LC brand for education, and Quadra brand for business, and the PowerBook line for mobile computing. Given Apple's dominant position in the education market, you may encounter customers with questions on how the LC family compares with the Performa family. This chart, found in your reference materials, compares the Performa brand specifications with the LC family of products. Apple has gone to great lengths to make Performa a great offering for your customers. But we know there will be inevitable comparisons between the Performa and other Macintosh computers. In an effort to help you understand these unique differences, we encourage you to use your Performa reference materials, which state not only the technical specifications and comparisons, but also help you present the value-added components that Performa brings to your customers. A personal computer is a big ticket item with a lot of complexities. The Apple vision of bringing the power of technology to everyone can only happen when our customers are satisfied. Customer satisfaction leads to positive word of mouth and repeat business for years to come. Satisfied customers tell their friends and family, and those people will buy from you as well. Plus, you can look forward to continuing repeat business as customers return to add peripherals, supplies, and software. That all adds up to good business for your store and for you. Apple provides lifetime telephone support and a one-year warranty for Apple products from the date of purchase. When a customer opens the box, they will find the setting up welcome mat and the resource guide, both directing them to call 1-800-SOS-APPL to obtain service and support. During the hours of 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, customers will receive support for installation, setup, configuration, and any compatibility issue. Also, if they call with concerns about a third-party application, Apple will direct them to the software manufacturer with the appropriate phone number. These phone numbers are included in all of the software manuals. Apple provides a one-year in-home warranty on all Apple products sold through your store. Should a problem exist, customers should call the 800 number. A technician will be dispatched to their home within two business days to solve the hardware problem. Salespeople should use the same 800 number. 
Sales representatives are given priority in using this number, but only if they hit the appropriate sales representative option when prompted. Returns are costly to you and to Apple. Many problems such as missing items, possibly damaged system software, or forgotten passwords can be solved over the phone. So, before your customer tries to return any merchandise, or you accept any merchandise for a return, please have them call the 800 number, or call the 800 number yourself. A return may be unnecessary. The same 800 number has recorded answers to commonly asked questions. Help is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We want you to convey confidence to your customers that Apple will do all that it takes to satisfy the customer's expectations of quality and reliability. Before you hit the selling floor, you should become familiar with sales tools and information provided from Apple. An effective way to sell Macintosh Performa computers is to use the point of purchase displays and counter cards to guide customers through your presentation. Take a moment to point out all these extras, items such as monitors, software, fax modem, and expansion ports that are standard on the Performa. Product specifications have been printed on tear-off and take-one sheets. This is an excellent way to involve the customer in a selling situation. On the in-store computer unit, customers can watch a brief self-running overview of Performa, which talks about Macintosh Performa as a family computer. Clicking the mouse reveals four interactive buttons. Clicking on any one of these buttons lets you or your customers learn more about the chosen topic. Choosing a Performa lists the features and benefits for each model, comparing one model to another. Included with Performa illustrates everything that comes with a Performa computer. Software demonstrations lets your customers see various software programs helping them understand the range of software available. Adding to Performa lists the features and benefits of Performa peripherals. Return to Overview takes you back to the self-running overview. In your reference material, we have provided tips on how to introduce customers to marketing demos and tutorials on the Performa systems on the selling floor. For more information or to order any of these materials, call Starting Line Retail at 1-800-456-2036. Let's recap the Macintosh Performa product that you'll be selling. Apple has provided your customers with an all-in-one package with solid product features, including an expanded software offering that's easy to set up and easy to learn. Apple has also installed enhanced software features to make it even easier for the entire family to use the Performa in the home. We've included informative and useful training and sales tools which work with you to tell the Performa story. Then there's the Apple Support Hotline, 1-800-SOS-APPL, connects you or your customers with knowledgeable technical support experts. Apple has provided a complete solution specifically tailored for your customers. You may also find it helpful to understand the customer experience in setting up and using the Performa systems you'll be selling. If so, we recommend you view the next and final section of this videotape. This section of the video is a detailed and sequential introduction to your new Macintosh Performa. If you have some knowledge of the Macintosh, you will learn how to get even more from your Performa. Segment headings have been provided to make it easier to view specific information. This video segment is designed to help you set up your new Macintosh Performa. The presentation follows the Setting Up Welcome Mat and the Getting Started Manual. You may want those materials available while watching this tape. If you're familiar with setting up and using a Macintosh, you might want to forward this tape to the section titled Using the New Launcher and Using the New at Ease where you can learn more about the programs which have been installed on your Macintosh Performa. Every Macintosh Performa arrives as an all-in-one bundle with instructions, hardware, software, and accessories. Many of the advantages of Macintosh are obvious from the moment you open the box. The first item you will see is your setting up welcome mat. It will help guide you through the quickest and easiest way to set up and learn to operate your new Macintosh Performa. Now is a good time to unpack the box and confirm that you have everything you'll need. You should refer to the setting up welcome mat provided. In the Macintosh Essentials box, you will find documentation, mouse, cable, and power cord. Underneath is the keyboard and CPU. Below that, you will find the monitor. 
If you think something may be missing or you are confused, skip to step 11 of your setting up welcome mat. Call 1-800-SOS-APPL for assistance. The technical support person will know just how to help you. You may want to take a moment to get everything ready. Are you ready to put your system together? Looking at step two, let's take one of the power cords and plug it into the back of the computer. Plug the other end of the power cord into a three-hole grounded outlet. Or better yet, pick up one of these power strips with built-in surge suppressor. It's less than $10 at most hardware stores. Step three, now let's do the same thing with the monitor power cord. Step four, taking the monitor cable, notice how there is an icon resembling a monitor. Find the corresponding icon on the back of the computer to connect the cable. And now tighten the thumb screws. Step five, with the keyboard facing you, plug one end of the mouse cable into the connector on the left side of the keyboard. Or, if you prefer to use the mouse with your other hand, connect the mouse to the other side of the keyboard. Step six, plug the keyboard cable into the open connector on the other side of the keyboard. Now go to the back of the computer and connect the other end of the keyboard cable into the open connector with the same ADB icon. By the way, always turn off the computer before you change any connector. Step seven, now turn on the monitor. The switch is on the front. Step eight, and then turn on the computer. The switch is on the back of the CPU. That sound tells you everything's fine. In a few moments, you'll also see a smiling Macintosh on your monitor. That's the disk drive you hear clicking. Step nine, after a few moments, your screen should look like this. If your screen doesn't show anything, check to see that all your connectors are tight and your monitor is turned on. If your screen shows a question mark, call the Apple support hotline at 1-800-SOS-APPL. Now you're ready for step 10 learning the basics of Macintosh. Welcome to Macintosh. Compared to other graphical user interfaces, Macintosh is easier to learn, easier to use, it works much more consistently from application to application, and people like it better. In fact, a JD Power survey rated Apple tops in overall customer satisfaction among PC users for two years running. That must mean they find that Macintosh lives up to its promise to help them get more done. You can begin exploring your Macintosh on your own, or you may want to learn a bit more about how it works and how to get the most out of it. This is called the Finder or Desktop. You can think of it as much like your own desktop, and just like the top of your desk, it helps you find what's on your work area. People refer to it as a graphical user interface because pictures or icons let you give the Macintosh commands. Icons are small pictures that represent the places where you store things as well as the things that you've stored. The picture looks like what it does. For example, trash can, folder, hard disk. If you insert a floppy disk, it shows up on the desktop as a floppy disk. Other desktop items include icons for the Macintosh hard disk. And the trash looks like a trash can. This is called a window. Windows are the computer's version of pieces of paper. Just as most of the work you do at your desk takes place on paper, most of the work you do on a Macintosh takes place inside a window, whether it's writing memos, balancing your checkbook, or playing games. This particular window is called the launcher window. Launcher is a key feature of your Performa and will be detailed in segment four. In the launcher window, you will find key information and training on using your Performa. The mouse is an important component of the Macintosh. You use the mouse to control the movement of a pointer on the desktop and to activate nearly every command. To learn operation of the mouse, click on Mouse Basics in the learning section of the launcher window. There you'll learn about the four simple mouse operations. This program is a great training tool because it quickly demonstrates how easy it is to use the Macintosh. If you're new to Macintosh, be sure to try this button. In the learning section of the launcher is another tool for learning more about Performa desktop operations. Let's take a quick overview of what you will find in Performa Basics. Performa Basics is broken down into six sections. In section one, what's on your screen, 
you will learn how to navigate with arrows, how to use the launcher, and some of the basic desktop items. In section two, working with icons, you'll learn what icons represent, two ways to open icons, and how icons and windows work together. In section three, working with menus, you'll learn how to open menus and how to use a menu bar. In section four, working with windows, you'll learn how to open, move, close, and resize windows, as well as scroll through them. In section five, working with dialog boxes, you'll learn what to do when a dialog box appears. In section six, turning off your computer, you'll learn the best way to turn off your Performa and where to find the command to do that operation. New Macintosh users should also know about Balloon Help. Point to an object and Balloon Help provides an instant explanation. Included at no charge with Macintosh system software, Balloon Help is easily turned on or off as you increase your proficiency or questions arise. An important item on the desktop is Launcher. Launcher has been enhanced. Along the top are three buttons which select three distinct areas of the launcher, applications, learning, and service and support. Click on the learning button to see information and tutorials which will help you learn more about your Performa. You can understand more about the fax modem that came with your Performa, understand why you should back up your system, as well as learning why you might want to share your computer and how to do it safely and easily. Click on the service and support button for information necessary to support your specific system. Here you can find helpful hints on using your Performa. There's also information on understanding how Macintosh is compatible with PC computers and floppy disks. Perhaps most importantly, you will want to refer to service and support details on using and owning a Macintosh Performa system. Click on Applications and the Launcher window displays all the applications installed on your Performa. You can click in the scroll box to see more. To start an application, just point to the application you want and click. The application will be launched. When you quit the application, you will return to the Finder and the Launcher. Detailed instructions on Launcher can be found in Chapter 12 of the Macintosh Performa User's Guide. So far, you've discovered the important features and benefits which make the Macintosh Performa easy to learn. Let's see how these features add up to make the Macintosh easy to use. In the end, these are the reasons why people get more done with Macintosh than other computer systems. All computers share similar abilities to create and store information. On the Macintosh, you can use the mouse to quickly select a sentence you want to move. Cut the sentence point and click where it should go and paste it in place, all without touching the keyboard or having your eyes leave the screen. When you're finished, you can easily save the letter. The dialog box appears when the Macintosh needs more information. The name Untitled 1 is highlighted, indicating that unless you change the name of your file, it will be saved as Untitled 1. Let's name the file Letter to Elementary School PTA. Don't worry, you can use up to 31 characters. Note that the document folder is the default directory. Saved items won't be misplaced with this document folder feature. If you aren't familiar with all the features of dialog boxes, try using Balloon Help. Click Save, and the file Letter to Elementary School PTA is saved to the document folder on your hard disk. If you wanted to save that file to a floppy disk, you'd go through the same Save As process but this time you'd insert your floppy disk. You'll note that the floppy disk's directory is automatically ready to receive information. Click Save and your file is saved to your floppy. Quit the application by using the File menu, choose Quit, and Release. More information on using programs and editing documents is available in Chapters 3 and 4 in the Macintosh Performa User's Guide. Let's look at how easy it is to save your file to a floppy and organize your files. There's the document folder. Now double click to open the document folder. There's our file letter to elementary school PTA. With Macintosh you can easily move files, folders, even applications anywhere by just clicking and dragging. Soon you may want to copy files to a floppy disk. Start by selecting a floppy disk. Insert the floppy into the slot until it clicks. If you need a new floppy disk, you will have to format it. Don't worry, with Macintosh, formatting is easy to do. 
It will then ask you to give a name to the disk. You can name each disk with any combination of up to 31 characters. Let's call this PTA letters. After a minute, the floppy disk icon will appear on your desktop as PTA letters. Copying the file to the floppy disk is as easy as clicking on the file, then dragging the file into the floppy disk icon. You'll hear the floppy disk recording the file. If you want to check that it's been copied, just double click on the icon to open the floppy window. There's a copy of our file. Now eject the floppy by dragging the floppy disk icon into the trash. You can put the disk into another computer, say at work, mail it to a friend, or just set it aside for safekeeping. Your original file remains in the document folder on the Macintosh hard disk. After a few weeks with your new Performa, you'll come to realize it contains lots of valuable information which you don't want to lose. There's system software and programs which come from the factory and many programs and files you add over time. It's a good idea to regularly make a duplicate copy of that information, what's known in computer terms as a backup. Your Performa already has a utility program designed for this purpose. Go to the launcher window, click on the applications, click on backup, and follow the instructions. You will be presented with the option of making a complete backup of everything on the hard drive, or just system software. By the way, be sure to buy at least two boxes of blank high-density floppy disks to save a complete backup copy. For more detail on backup, refer to Chapter 7 in the Macintosh Perform on User Guide. You may want to configure your Macintosh to make it even easier for the entire family by using AddEase. The new AddEase is a more powerful yet easier to use utility that lets you streamline your Macintosh Performa for the entire family. You determine which programs and files family members may access. AddEase then displays them on a set of large file folders on the desktop. Point to a button and AddEase speaks to you. Now click on a button and Young children can start their favorite programs. Students will have no trouble finding their homework assignments. And office programs are ready for new users to get to work with less training. In other words, it's a friendly, safe, one-touch desktop, making Macintosh even easier to use. AddEase has been installed on every Macintosh Performa computer sold, but is not turned on. It is at the customer's discretion to turn it on. To understand why you may want to use AddEase, go to the Launcher window, select the Learning Options, and select a program called Sharing Your Computer. The AddEase Owner's Guide and AddEase Quick Reference Card will assist you through the process of setting up AddEase. The AddEase application is located in the Applications folder. Double-click on AddEase, and this dialog box will appear. AddEase will be off. Click the On button. To create a new user for your store, click New. AddEase now allows up to 10 different users to customize AddEase with their own application items, user folders, and access privileges. Type in the user's name, Store User. Your choices are Open and Stay in AddEase or Open into Finder. For your store system, select Open and Stay in AddEase. Next, we'll add several applications for this user. Click the Add Applications button. You will see two windows. On the left will be a list of all the available options on the hard drive for this user. Click on an application, ClarisWorks 2.0. Click Add. ClarisWorks 2.0 is now added to the list. Continue through adding applications. Click OK when done. Click the Next button to decide what menu should be available to the user. You can choose from minimal menus, so only basic items such as close, restart, and shut down are available, or all menus, so the user can access control panels, get info, and delete. We recommend using the minimal menus setting for greatest security. You also have the option of having buttons in at ease spoken as a user clicks on the button. Click the next button. Finally, for security, you control permission for users to open documents and save documents anywhere, only in user's folder, only on floppy disk, you can also allow access to Finder.
For store systems, we recommend saving to floppy and no access to Finder for greatest security. Click Done. Quit at Ease. And restart your system. Detailed instructions can be found in the At Ease 2.0 Owner's Guide, covering subjects like what to do if you forget your password. An At Ease Quick Reference Card is also included. PC compatibility refers to the ability to share information with IBM compatible PCs. There are many compatibility options, so in this video we will detail the easiest and most complete method for your Macintosh. Specifics on other PC compatibility options are detailed in your reference materials. Perhaps you have a PC at work running DOS or Windows versions of WordPerfect or Microsoft Word. At home you can run a Macintosh version of this same program. Since you run the same application at work and home, you save your work on a PC data disk, bring it home for changes or additions. When the disk is inserted, a program called Macintosh PC Exchange, which is already installed on your Performa, helps the Macintosh read the PC files. The Macintosh SuperDrive floppy disk drive reads and writes to all DOS, Windows, and OS2 disks. When you open your work, your Macintosh version of the application will translate the file while retaining all formatting. When you're finished, save it back to the PC data disk by selecting the DOS or Windows file format. This is the easiest and most frequent way people will use PC compatibility. There are other options, such as emulating DOS with a program called Soft PC, as well as other involved data translations. We encourage you to refer to the reference materials on PC compatibility which detail these other compatibility options. We recommend you call the Apple Support Hotline at 1-800-SOS-APPL for more specific answers to your concerns. In this last section, we'll look at some new user options, shortcuts in using the Macintosh operating system, and help you summarize Macintosh Performa options. With the latest version of the Performa system software, there are some new preferences available for user flexibility as well as increased security. In the launcher window, under the Service and Support button, there is a button for the Performa. Click on this button to bring up Performa preferences. You can elect to keep Finder hidden until you choose it under the application menu. You may want Launcher to open automatically when you turn on the computer. It's a good idea to protect items in the system folder so they cannot be renamed or removed. You can also protect items in the applications folder so that they too cannot be renamed or removed. Choosing this default means new files, unless specified, will automatically be saved to the application folder. Instead, you may want them saved to the document folder. The third choice is to place them in the last folder used. This is handy if there's only one user on the system. Other options and shortcuts for users can be found under the Balloon Help menu. Selecting Finder shortcuts enables users who prefer keystroke combinations to make desktop operations even easier. Let's recap the Macintosh Performa product that you'll be selling. Apple has provided your customers with an all-in-one package with solid product features, including an expanded software offering that's easy to set up and easy to learn. Apple has also installed enhanced software features to make it even easier for the entire family to use the Performa in the home. We've included informative and useful training and sales tools which work with you to tell the Performa story. Then, there's the Apple Support Hotline, 1-800-SOS-APPL, connects you or your customers with knowledgeable technical support experts. Apple has provided a complete solution specifically tailored for your customers. We've also given you the tools you need to successfully sell Performa products with confidence.